This is a recent story, and it tells you, and in fact, confirms to all of us what entitlement means to a woman, and that money can absolutely ruin women and bring out the worst in them. Originally appearing in the New York Post, this is a story about a woman who won the lottery to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars and came to the internet limelight by saying she didn't to share any of it with her husband. Her husband, on the other hand, was of the view that she should put the amount in their joint savings account so that they can add to their savings to buy a better car and a house. Many on the internet, this was selfish of the woman and that on one hand, she expects the husband to work and provide for her and save for her, but when she has something to contribute, she turns the other way. What do you guys think? Is this entitlement or is this justified? Have you ever wondered why women in general feel so entitled? Even in today's so-called era of equity and equality, men are expected to do everything for them. It's almost as if they feel they're entitled to certain things from men. They're entitled to the money he makes. They're entitled to the money he saves. They're also entitled to the lottery he wins. But they're not entitled to the lottery the women win. I mean, the whole idea of entitlement starts from the very first interaction. When a guy and a girl see each other and like what they see, it's the man who's supposed to approach the woman. It's the man who's supposed to think of a way to get her attention, while she plays hard to get it. She expects the man to approach her and expects him to come with compliments, gifts, a boat full of attention, desire, and lust for her. Then, it's the guy who's supposed to ask her out on a date. It's the guy who's supposed to figure out the perfect date, arrange everything, make sure he arranges the reservation, and then ensure he has a comfortable ride to pick her up and drive her around. Then, it's the guy who's supposed to pay for the date. It's the guy who's supposed to pay for the drinks, for the gifts, and for anything else. If he dares to ask if she can split the bill, he will be immediately judged as some miserly coward who wants a female to pay. After they've been on the date, it's the guy who's supposed to make the move and give her the first kiss. It's the guy who's supposed to make the move in bed and lead her, while the girl still plays hard to get, and yet, expects to be treated like royalty. Men are expected to take the lead, plain and simple. And in this case, men are expected to also stay mum about the wife not sharing any of her lottery winnings. Somewhere along the line, I think everyone must have thought about why women are always the ones who expect everything to be done by the man. I mean, even in long-term relationships, the guy is supposed to do the tough housework and provide for the entire family. Where did the woke feminist go now? What happened to equality, right? Throughout their lives, men are supposed to do everything for women and literally dedicate their lives to providing for, protecting, and helping women. And you know what? Men do that with honor. They do it proudly because that's in their nature. I'm talking about high-value men, not a simp who starts crying if he gets rejected by a girl. But the question is, why is it that women expect everything from a man? especially when all they can do now is talk about equality and how men have oppressed them and controlled them. It's true that modern women have become too entitled. We've talked about how it's in the very nature of women to have this sense of entitlement and that they truly believe men are born in this world just to make sure that they give everything to women for free and slave away their lives for the sake of these women. Now let's talk about how women feel entitled and expect men to help them and save them even after they're divorced or raising kids on their own. But the surprising part here is that men all over the world have learned that helping such women only makes them more suspicious of you or makes you look like a creep who's trying to flirt with a single woman, even when the man has zero such intentions. Women want help, but only from guys who are attractive, I guess. Even if a lot of people can't believe that you can make decisions that don't violate anyone's rights since they are so irrational. Try as you might, you can't waste time persuading them of anything. Leave them alone and focus on surrounding yourself with positive influences. Why do I even say this at all? Because one of the greatest obstacles for contemporary males to overcome in order to achieve in the world today is social engineering. The system encourages men to be passive and placid, to pay their taxes, and to accept less than they are entitled to. 
This explains why the body positivity movement is so popular right now. A male who has the same health problems as a woman cannot be featured on the cover of a magazine. In reality, it would be mocked. I won't say that women will accept any male if I know that their nature is hypergamy. I'm not into promoting promiscuity in any manner. Even though certain modern women may be promiscuous and you can simply convince them to come to your place. Men are becoming more and more tired of that and they would rather choose an alternative road than follow unhelpful social norms. I'll talk about a few of the justifications they use to make you think that women are fantastic in all they do. Men in particular are being led to believe that women with baggage make for ideal romantic partners. Regardless of whether you identify as a man, you may have long since come to the conclusion that making excuses is unmanly and that you must put in the effort to achieve your goals. Your circumstances, history, or upbringing are irrelevant. You simply complete the task at hand. Except for your mother, the majority of women don't care about your troubles. Men must take it gradually and climb the success ladder one step at a time if they are to bear the burden of performance and output. Men who desire to excel in life rarely waste time on women, instead choosing to concentrate on their projects. In fact, many guys are so dedicated to their craft that women are no longer relevant to them, which is a very good strategy. Another belief that society accepts but does not consider is that women can obtain any entitlements they desire, even if they do not merit them or have put as much effort into earning them as men have. It's almost as if women's entitlement is systematically promoted by society, giving free licenses to women to expect everything to be handed over to them without having to work for it in any way. The only qualification needed for this is that the person has to be female, and all of society will completely ensure their full support. The fact that women feel entitled might be understandable from some aspects, but the fact that they feel too entitled, which means they feel entitled just because that's how it is, is the topic of discussion and debate here. And it is even more so because society has jumped on the woke feminist bandwagon that calls for equality in every aspect of life, and yet still continues to support women to feel entitled to everything a man does, earns, and produces is just perplexing to say the least. I hope that women realize the hypocrisy with which they live, expecting everything to be taken care of on one hand, and then marching the streets with banners for equality on the other. One thing is for sure though, manipulation is the primary tool that modern women have and use against men. They're used to it since their teenage years and will continue to use it till their last breath. They will try to use your emotions against you in order to fulfill their own wishes because, as we all know, they feel entitled. They will try to manipulate you into buying them gifts, into being okay with them, seeing other people, into moving closer to where they work, and into believing in whatever they want you to believe. There's no end to it, and it frequently succeeds with weak men. They are primarily chasing one thing, and they will put up with abuse solely for the sake of that one thing, which we all know. Thus, they fall for the manipulative tactics of women, both intentionally and unknowingly. Therefore, it is best for males to keep their distance from such women who they are aware will exploit and manipulate them to fulfill the expectations that they feel entitled to. And in the case of the woman who won the lottery and now wants to travel the world alone, most people agree that it's a huge issue that she doesn't want to share her winnings with her husband, but noted that an even bigger red flag was the fact she didn't even want him to come traveling with her. What would you do in such a situation? How would you handle it? Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. And let us know your thoughts on this in the comments. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.